All right, so in this video, I have a pair of Nike sneakers that I am very interested in seeing how they are in person and on feet. So I went ahead and bought these uh, on the Nike app. Basically, it came up as exclusive access, and it felt really cool because I've never heard of this sneaker model before, so I bought them just to see what it was about. So these are the Nike Air Sesh, and they are $110, and I went true to size, and they fit me true to size, to be honest. Uh, that's probably the right size you should go with. But this is a look at the model, and it is... A dancing sneaker so I didn't know this honestly when I bought the shoe I found this out as I was looking up information for you guys designed by Tinker Hatfield who is the infamous Air Jordan 3 4 5 blah 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 all the way up uh, he, he did a lot of the Air Jordan line as well as the Air Max 1 he's uh, the godfather of like sneakers basically and he uh, designed this pair of sneakers for dancers so let's go ahead and get into this uh, kind of casual review it's not gonna be an dancing review uh, but let's jump in What is going on guys, Hess here. Hopefully you're having a good day out there. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. If you guys are new to my channel, you guys enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. And if you haven't used my website, Collective Kicks, I post a bunch of sneaker deals over there for you guys every single week. So go check that out if you guys want to see what is trending. This is a, a very interesting pair of sneakers right here. So like I said, this is called the Nike Air Sesh. And it does say dance on the side of the shoe. Clean. It says a bunch of words on this colorway. Uh, the materials are kind of weird. It's like a leather-ish upper through the entire thing heavy heavy creasing right here on the side uh, straight out of the box so not super dope to see that but it is what it is pretty much one panel on a side of the shoe one panel on the other side of the shoe that's wrapped and then a suede strip right down the middle of the shoe as well as a nylon strip down the back where the pull tab is uh, this is a very interesting looking shoe and the fact that it's again made for dancers uh, street dancers and performers and Jabberwocky style type peoples. I think it's kind of a cool concept. Will it be successful or not? I, you know, I don't know. I think it's hard because it's such a, a niche of like a product. People that like to dance, like have like expressive freedom in their craft, right? So the fact that they are being pigeonholed or would be pigeonholed in a type of a sneaker, uh, specifically for dancers, it seems inside of the box of uh, something that's supposed to be outside of the box. And I think that that alone is gonna make it kind of difficult for these shoes to find its stride. But that being said, maybe it does make a dancer better. So I've always enjoyed like watching like dance, like break dancing and stuff like that. And you know, videos on YouTube and stuff. Bailey Sock is actually someone I've seen dance a lot on like YouTube and stuff. She's a phenomenal like dancer. She was in the Nike uh, commercial or whatever for these shoes, which I thought was kind of cool. Getting a co-sign from a real dancer with smart moves from Nike to be able to do that. You know, and I watched a promo video on these shoes and the creation of uh, from the words of Tinker Hatfield and how he created the shoes and basically how uh, dancers had to just find shoes from other types of genres, basketball shoes, you know, skate shoes, whatever it might be, to make them fit into a dancer's world. And instead, he wanted to create its own dancing shoe. And, you know, he made dual traction on the shoe. So he, there's like sticky traction on uh, this part. But then for dancers that do like a lot of slides, it's like smoother and, and you can slide easier, I guess. And the overall design's not bad. And they created an affordable product. I mean, if you're looking for something around $110, $100 roughly uh, for a product, it's a smart idea to come in at a lower price point. You don't want a, a dance shoe that's going to be $200. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So, I think that they did a really smart job with that. I think the overall model looks pretty good. I feel like the upper could probably use some different colorways. I mean, from the silhouette itself, the overall shape, if, if you just had, like, the silhouette, it kind of looks like a Nike Dunk. Uh, the same style cut of the, like, a Dunk Low minus the, uh, the back tab here. Uh, the difference is the midsole and the outsole is definitely tailored towards something different, which I think is actually pretty cool that he was able to, to create. This colorway, again, has a bunch of words all over the upper. You have a white swoosh on one side and reverse swoosh that is actually just painted on on the other side. It says air sesh on the inside. Sesh, I'm assuming, is short for a session, like a dance session. I honestly have no idea. That's a, a reach right there, but maybe that's the case. Cannot make out the tongue. It looks like it says Nike, but honestly, I have no idea. I do like the little pop of lime here on the laces as well as on the tongue right here. And then the lace tips as well as the Nike on the back, even on the Nike on the inside of the shoe. And then the, that green uh, inlaid Nike swoosh on the bottom looks really nice. Actually, I think that probably is my favorite 
part of the shoe, just the overall look of that. Um, I think their other colorways are gonna look pretty good on these as well, but $110 is not too terrible. Anyway, some words about what the product is. The air sesh style that performs. For so long, dancers have had to choose between aesthetics and functionality when it comes to footwear. Not anymore, the Nike Air Sesh prioritizes style and performance equally. It's a lightweight, flexible, all-in-one shoe packed with dance-focused innovation, so the whole day can be your dance session. It's lightweight, durable, and flexible with flex grooves in the outsole to give your foot more articulation. Zoom Air heel cushioning and Cushlon foam midsole provide extra comfort and support. The wider toe box offers room in your toes to spread more naturally so you can maintain stable connection to the floor. Designer Tinker Hatfield added a reverse swoosh in the medial side and a glow-in-the-dark swoosh on the outsole to highlight your footwork. Ooh, good to know that the swoosh is glow-in-the-dark. Anyway, I think it's kind of cool what they're trying to accomplish with this. I did see like a colorway that's like kind of white, red, and blue. Kind of reminds you of like a Nike Cortez as well. Uh, so I like that, that it looks uh, like somewhat familiar to some of the people out there that maybe know the Cortez. I'm not a dancer by trade though, so I'm not gonna give these a proper uh, test. Maybe we can get Chris over there at Wear Testers to do a wear test on the, the Nike Air Sash. That'd be actually pretty rad to be able to see that. Anyway, I think this is a pretty cool looking shoe. I like the overall look of the silhouette. I think the upper is a little too plain to be honest. The primary focus of Tinker, it looks like is the midsole, the Cushlon uh, mixed in with the glow in the dark soles and the extra traction. Uh, and as I mentioned, smooth parts where you need it probably most. And then a little bit more rigid feel on the inside right here. I think that's smart. I think that the overall design is cool for uh, dancers. And I think that they'll probably find this pretty beneficial. If I was going to send Harrison into dance class, I'd probably for sure throw these on his feet. The only critical point I would say is the overall upper. Uh, first of all, this material is going to crease like crazy, just as I can already see uh, from the pair that I have, just straight out of the box. Uh, and I don't like the fact that it's just a singular side panel of just like, one thing and then a little bit of design yeah this one has like stuff on it and there's a swoosh on the outside but it's just weird not to have like overlays or underlays or anything like that uh, other colorways will look really really plain and i don't think that's the overall look that you try to go for if you're going to be a dancer or somebody that wants to have uh, their personality show when they're like creating movement as a dancer does uh like you want something that looks flashy or cool potentially on your feet uh, if I was a dancer, I would definitely, I mean, I'd throw down, I'd be a sneakerhead dancer like uh, some of the Jabberwockies and stuff uh, because they, those guys stunt pretty hard in a lot of the Jordans and stuff that are out there. That would have been a cooler route to go. Maybe they could do something like that where they get Jabberwockies involved to do a version of the Air Sash, like their own design version because I think that would be something that can breathe more life into the, to the series or the, to the product itself. Uh, to get that like mainstream culture involved in, in the creation. They got some of them involved in the creation of the content around the product, but I'm not sure about the colorways. It would be cool to, to get some like um, collaborations really from people, anybody from, from anywhere but other than TikTok. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm an old man salty of TikTok. I'm joking, but I know there's always a lot of debate of like dancers credibility on TikTok and stuff like that. But uh, but there is a lot of really good stuff out there as well. So I'm just I'm just joking around with you all But this isn't bad. The glow-in-the-dark swoosh looks pretty good. I'd say overall comfort of these things I would give it maybe like a 7 out of 10. It's not anything crazy amazing, but it's not bad by any means Cushion is always nice. You could feel it on the sides I knew it wasn't react because it's pretty darn soft uh, But you don't feel that amazing softness from Cushion that it can offer uh, on this shoe that much I mean, it's, it's soft enough, but it's not crazy crazy soft where you're gonna feel like you can't dance obviously stability needs to be a major factor in these so they're not crazy soft but they are pretty comfortable it does say they have zoom in them as well so that's a plus the fact that tinker made these makes these a little bit cooler in my opinion just because of that uh but this uh this model will be interesting to see how it unfolds if it sticks around or not you know they had the nursing shoe that came out years ago and it was a huge success at first because it was extremely limited hard to get your hands on uh dornbecker had some limited ones that they designed for nurses and so on, and then now you can get them for like $60 at outlets. So at the end of the day, is it a shoe that nurses actually wear every single day? I mean, my wife did a review of the shoes when they first came out and she was like, yeah, they're, they're pretty good, but there was, they're a little bit too snug on the heel uh, for all day wear. And she's on her feet for 13 hours a day when she's in the hospital and stuff. So uh, it's not a shoe that she would wear every single day. And she is a nurse and those shoes are designed for nurses. And so is this shoe gonna be something you see on dancers' feet all the time? Is this a shoe that you could casual, 
yeah, for sure. It's not a shoe that looks like it would be made for one specific function. You could definitely wear this casually, but the only thing for me is I wouldn't want to get caught in the streets wearing these sneakers and then people that know what they are be like, know that I'm wearing like a dancing sneaker and expect me to break out into to some crazy like flares or something like that or some b-boy moves. Any which way, I think they're pretty cool though. $110 and if you guys are looking for a pair, check the link in the description. Uh, I don't know when they're going to be available again, but it'll take you over to Nike. I know they're coming soon. Uh, but that that's my look at these. Uh, Tinker did a good job. Cool to see uh, Bailey uh, Sock in the, uh, the video and the other dancers were pretty rad as well. But that's all we got for this video. If you guys are new to my channel, again, you guys like the video, please drop a like on the video and subscribe. I have a lot of other uh, random videos coming for you guys. So make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted. But have a good rest of the day. Hopefully see you back. All right, peace guys.